Do you trust me? Why? Why not? Well, you can trust me when I tell you that there's a competition which you can enter all about trust. Your entries can be in writing, audio, or video, and we want you to ask and answer juicy questions like how we decide who we can trust, how trust is changing, and what trust even is. But why does any of that even matter? Why does trust matter? Well, in a crisis, being able to trust the right people can be a matter of life and death. You've got to come quick, there is a fire. No, I don't believe you. (sighs) And in 2021, there is no shortage of crises. Whether that's the coronavirus pandemic or the climate crisis, it's clear that we need to come together to act. But how can we work with each other if we don't trust each other? Well, before we can work out how we can trust each other, we need to work out what trust even is. You could say that to trust someone is to believe them, to count on them, and to have confidence in what they say or do. Uh, that's not what I read on this Insta. Well, just like we can't trust everyone, we can't trust everything we read online. So how do we decide which posts we believe, count on, and have confidence in? Social media can make it hard to know where information is coming from and which sources we can trust. Plus, it encourages us to like things simply because they agree with our views, all while deepening the divides between us. So how do we make people trust and share more responsibly on social media? Trust isn't just a question for social media either. One solution would be to go with trusted sources. But can all trusted sources be trusted? And tune in later for the startling news that the Earth goes round the sun. And next up, it's the experts who proved that the sun orbits the Earth. So who should we trust? Politicians? Journalists? Experts? But even then, how do we decide who actually is trustworthy? These questions aren't new, but they are changing as our world changes. The internet gives us all the information in the world at our fingertips. Surely that should help us know who to trust? But just as our access to information has grown, so has our access to misinformation. How have we ended up in this situation, and is there a way to escape it? Could developments like artificial intelligence give us more reasons to be trusting, or do they risk creating even more mistrust in our societies? For me, all these questions aren't just interesting, they're personally important. You see, I'm a climate scientist who now spends a lot of my time communicating the latest climate change research, both through journalism and my personal climate change YouTube channel. But in spite of having a doctorate in climate science, I still get comments all the time like these. Why should I believe you? I saw a video with way more views saying that global warming is just a conspiracy to sell more ice cream. So trust affects how we think about things like politics, science, and religion. But trust isn't just about how we tell the difference between fact and fake news. Trust affects us personally, too. So how does trust affect our friendships, our relationships, and our ability to lead happy, healthy lives? Trust is a huge issue, and in this competition, we're not looking for you to answer all these questions. Any one of these topics I've mentioned could be your subject, or you could think of a completely different question about trust. These aren't easy questions with one right answer. We want to see you thinking originally. We want to hear your views, so you're not going to just be able to copy your answer off Wikipedia. That said, of course, you can get inspiration from trusted sources. And just like you can choose the topic for yourself, you can also choose how you explore the topic. Your project can be in the form of a film, a podcast, or an essay. 
check the website for details. Speaking of which, the website is youthontrust.eu, which makes sense because it's a European competition for youth on trust. You have until the 1st of March 2022. The winners will be invited on a trip to Brussels to visit the heart of the European Union. Plus, the best pieces will be published. So make sure you enter. Trust me, you won't regret it.